Hey guys, it's Kayla and Michaela. Hello everyone and welcome to my Kayla Talks. Sadly, my partner in crime Kayla is out for two weeks with COVID, so she couldn't join us today. But don't worry, we have her with us in spirit. And a black and white picture. Anyways, today for our My Kayla Talk, we will be discussing the current dress code in Fredericksburg, Texas. We went around the school interviewing multiple different students about how they felt about our dress code and what they could do to change it. We were even able to get a special appearance from one of our administrators at Fredericksburg High School. So without further ado, let's check in on them, shall we? I'm Kaylee Brown and I am a sophomore. I'm Cecilia Cannon. I'm a sophomore. Oh, what grade I'm grade? Kinsey. I'm in uh, 10th grade. <laughs> I'm Cindy Davis. I'm 10th grade. My full name is Madison Berenice Viveros Leon. I am a junior. Georgia. I am a freshman. Michael Willingham. Okay. I'm in 10th grade. I know you. I'm a sophomore this year. Oh, my name's Lennon Grace um, and I'm a junior. My name is Sarah Easley and I'm a junior. I'm Elizabeth Dobbins and I'm in the 10th grade. I'm Alicia Willie and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Faith Nahara and I am a junior. My name is Cameron Clements and I'm a junior. Uh, Sergio Robles, 12th grade, senior. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I have. I have not been dress coded. I've been dress coded a couple of times. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I have not. No. No. I was wearing leggings and a t-shirt. I was wearing shorts. To wear like ribbed jeans. Um, I was wearing a tank top that didn't have three straps. Three inch straps on it. Oof. Um, I was wearing a pair of jeans uh, that didn't have holes in them. They had patches and frays um. on them. And uh, uh, Miss, uh, what's her name? Wallace said they were too inappropriate, so I had to go change. What? Actually, I didn't have to go change. I had to go sit in the ISS room. It was mainly my shirts. They were just a bit too short. I feel like they could be less strict. Honestly, <laughs> I don't like it. I think it's stupid. <laughs> I'm not happy with my friend dress code. It's trash. <laughs> well, I feel like the jeans, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Like, they're, they're literally just rips. But like, the tank tops, I get it. Like, especially the spaghetti. <laughs> and like, even if they don't have any, that's good. Yeah. You know, it's gotten better, but there's some things that I wish they would like, learn to form with current fashion. I feel like it definitely could be a le little more lenient on the girls, especially with all the stuff that sports wears, like spandex for volleyball and cheer uniforms. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like dress codes are obviously important and we need some sort of rules for it, but I feel like it doesn't take in the context of the outfit sometimes. A lot of the rules are like kind of unreasonable. Like I understand like some parts, like you know, like not going to school like naked or whatever, but like and no holes holes in jeans, like that's not really necessary. It could use a couple of tweaks, but it's pretty standard. They've loosened it up a lot. I know that, especially for the guys. I feel like for the most part everything makes sense, but no, 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 I don't. It's all right. Absolutely not. No. I think it's relatively fair. The dress code itself is fair, but I feel like the way some people like will dress code some people more than others. But there are some things, like what I was wearing, my t-shirt was tucked into my leggings, so it wasn't covering my butt, and that's what I got dressed code for. I feel like stuff like that is a little much. Because there's so many things that girls cannot wear. The guys don't even have as many as we do, that's so rude. There are certain things that I'm like, like the hair, the hair yeah. thing for guys versus girls, they changed it this year, I'm pretty sure, but like the hair thing, I was like, Mm, why can't guys have long hair? Like, yeah. it kind of made no sense to me. But first of all, 
like girls are really the only ones that get dress coded and those are like where like most of the dress code like girls are put they're on girls which like kind of sexualizes us um i would probably say to make it fair for girls and guys with the same dress code yeah. i would just let everyone be comfortable like wear what they want and like be themselves you know yeah um, probably give the guys more dress codes. <laughs> um, I would think changing like spaghetti straps in the like fall, in the spring, because like we do live in Texas and like mm -hmm. you know the weather is not always fair. Um, and like some like um, shirt lengths and like how far they can be cropped, so stuff like that. Just little things. Yeah. I would make it equal for guys and girls. Mm -hmm. And then also some people are taller, some people are shorter, so like clothes fit them differently. Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like we should be taking that into consideration more as well. Letting people wear like more jewelry, just like let them express themselves. Maybe a little bit of facial hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, I personally haven't given it that much thought, but I understand some people like the way it makes you look. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a little unfair. I don't find it out really unfair. Uh, I feel like there should be a bit more leeway on that. It's like, it's not really that much of a distraction really. I guess that's pretty standard. If it works, it works. I'd say it's pretty fair. Probably a little bit. I feel like when there's athletes that are higher up in like social status I guess that usually they don't get dress coded or like teachers kids but I feel like for the most part it's fair. Girls sometimes they can be like curvy and they'll dress code you. Yeah. When you're when some skinny girl skinny white girl is wearing the same thing and they don't get dress coded. Yeah. Like I've seen not not naming names but I've seen a lot of girls wear only big t-shirts looks like they're not even wearing pants and then they don't get dress coded but then like someone else tries to do the same thing. It's like, oh, yeah. come on, man. Have the same uh, treatment, be fair. Yeah. I think specific teachers uh, have their own beliefs and are strict or not strict. And I think because of that, yeah, it depends on the day and what the person is wearing. Yeah, just like Caucasians get like dress code a lot less. Cause like you see a lot of like, girls that wear like skirts, like really, sh yeah, like, or like spaghetti straps, so they don't get dress coded for it at all, but then like if I wore something like that, I would definitely get dress coded. Mm -hmm. And it can all, that could also go for plus size people too, like if skinny people wear it, then like, if that's fine, but like, if you're bigger than like, that, or it's like, not okay or something. Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Yes, because when you look at the guys' dress code, it is so out, like so easy. Just like not this, this. And girls, we have like, lists of things we can't wear. They, they have really like biased opinions on it. Like you have to have like a perfect body to like be able to wear what you want. Yeah, sexualized? Not really. Do I feel, do I feel that they're sexist? Yes, definitely. Especially like shoulders mm. and upper thigh, like. I don't know. I feel like it's definitely just because guys find it distracting, and I feel like that needs to change. It's hard right now, especially in the world we live in, to avoid being sexualized in like mm -hmm. any way whatsoever. Sometimes they overcompensate for that and just end up hurting the girls more. Yeah, girls have a lot more dress code Rules. things than <laughs> guys do. Yeah. Not favored. But it's just not fair. Yeah. Yes, because it's easier for boys to dress themselves. Just like it's more catered to the guys and yeah. not like how they could control themselves. We have to control what we're wearing so they don't have to. It doesn't like matter. Like why do we have to like cover ourselves when it's their problem, not yeah. ours? Like what? Dress code is kind of unnecessary, <laughs> mostly. Yes. <laughs> like we can always look to improve our dress code and our regulations and I think the more these questions are good because they're good questions to be asking because we just need to make more improvements. Dress code's too. <laughs>
And, and so for me, it's say no, and as a teacher, definitely no, because I wanted my job. <laughs> I wanted to be a rule follower because I love what I do. Yeah. Therefore, if I break the rules, then I'm not leading by example. Mm -hmm. As a teacher, as a staff, well, we have a uh, dress code. While y'all get to wear shorts and pants, we are designated only on certain days we can mm -hmm. wear blue jeans. So the teacher's ones I think is appropriate because we are to be esteemed and looked at as professionals. If I ask students to do something, I hope I can emulate that. Mm -hmm. and so that's why I stay cleanly shaven, even though in our dress code, it says that I can have clean facial hair as long as I, I keep it neatly groomed. Uh, but if I ask a male student to do that, I hope I can also exemplify uh, that exact same thing. And my question then is, what would you constitute as fair? Do I feel that a dress code is appropriate? Yes. Is one needed? Yes. Um, for the current setting we're in? Yes. Um, but do I think it's from where we were to where we are now? I think we've, as for Fredericksburg, we've gone a long way. Mm -hmm. And there's some things that have surprised me that when they said yes to certain things, I was like, really? They, they And I never thought in my lifetime I would ever see some changes to the dress mm -hmm. code just coming from Fredericksburg. But within our faculty, I know what people are passionate about. They're saying, yes, I would like, but at the same time, I do like looking professional for my position. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same. People, they have their perspective. Mm -hmm. I've heard both sides. I've heard parents and students say, hey, you know, we're, we're tired of this and we want to see it more strict. Mm -hmm. we, I've also seen on the total opposite spectrum, uh, now it's no. You guys are too strict. But I believe it does matter. The way we dress does matter. And whether they agree or disagree, be respectful. And, uh, I've been asked to help enforce the policies and mm -hmm. procedures of uh, the district. And therefore, whether I agree or disagree with a certain principle, it, I can't incorporate my personal belief into it. They don't understand the why. And I think it's how do we define the why so they have purpose now in following that dress code. Dress code, if I'm asked to enforce it, I need to be living it. I care more about the success of the school and the district more than being right. Hello everybody. So before we begin, let's go around the circle and introduce ourselves to the camera. What is your name? My name is Maya. What grade are you in? Ninth. I'm Julia. I'm, I'm a sophomore. Okay. My name is Michaela, and I'm a freshman as well. I am Michaela as well. I will be the main Michaela, so she will be known as Mickey D. Anyways, have you guys ever been dress coded? Any of you? Yes. Yeah. What were you wearing when you were dress coded? Um, I was wearing a like a crop top. It was a tank top, but I was wearing a jacket over it. And I got oh. dressed coded because like it was too short. Like, you could see the part of my stomach. Do you think that it was unnecessary that they dress coded you, or? Um, yeah, kind of, because I was like this the whole day, and the only time I got dress coded was when I would, like went to grab something, um. and my teacher was like inappropriate. Oh, so they didn't even notice until... No, until I, like, oh, grabbed something. Oh. Um, so how do you feel about our current dress code? I think it's pretty solid. I mean... Pretty reasonable? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Like, I remember in middle school, we couldn't wear ripped jeans, and I hated that. But, like, I mean, I feel like it's pretty good. I don't really think you should be wearing, like, super short tops and, like, short shorts to school. Like, do you, do you feel like there's, like, a time and place where you should be wearing those things? Yeah, I mean, like, outside of school, that? that's your decision. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. I don't really like how they, like, they gave more privileges to the guys and then yeah. took away from the girls' side. Like, you're going to give the guys earrings, but we can't wear, like, yeah. you know, crop things. Like, you know, it's just kind of... Yeah, if, if there was one thing you could change, like since they got something, what would you want to be given as a restriction taken off from the girl side? Um, probably, I don't know, probably the shorts. The shorts? Yeah, I can, I can see how shorts would be like a thing that girls would get upset about. Obviously not like crazy shorts. Well, yeah, like, 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 like athletic shorts or just like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think. Yeah, because it does get hot out here, and, and, and on top of that, it gets humid, which is worse where I came, come from. At least it was dry out there, so we weren't like sweating everywhere. But yeah, I can understand. That. And boys, they they do wear shorts too, but like their shorts are more styled for the mm -hmm. knee cut off. And when girls wear that, it's kind of ugly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and it's just hard to find it, and like you know, yeah, it's just hard to find it. That's flattering. 
And That's like true. I've seen guys wear shorts shorter than mine. Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> and, like they, don't get dressed, dressed. they don't get dressed. Yeah. So like so do you think that there's like different standards when it comes to guys and when it comes to girls? Yes. Yeah. I feel like it's just it's just like over sexualization. Mm -hmm. girls. Yes. Especially with like leggings. Oh yes. Like we're completely covered up, but we still have to wear something over our butt. When oh it's yeah. Already like you know. Yeah, it's when it's not. like that, I'm like just avert your eyes, but like I can see. You shouldn't it. even be looking. You guys. shouldn't even be looking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you think our dress code is fair when it comes to it? Like you think that they, they execute it fairly and the rules are fairly? No. No. Well, I say no because, like, I don't think our, like, administrators who, like, dress for people, I don't think they purposely, like, I just feel like it's a lot of luck, like, just the, on the teachers you have or who sees you, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people I know that wear stuff out of dress code but don't get dress coded, and there's a lot of people I know that do get dress coded for, like, simple, like, barely breaking the rule. Yeah. And... I don't know, I just, yeah. Do you think that some people are more strict about dress code than other people? That's why I might for seem sure. like, oh, okay. Yes. Um, in order to change that, like, what would you do? Like, do you have a solution for that in order to make it more fair? Um, it's really difficult to, like, to, like, regulate it. But, mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like it just shouldn't be the main priority in the classroom. Yeah. Like, like we have learning to do, and you're going to send me to the office because you can see my Yeah, shoulders. but that also affects yeah. your learning ability, too. Yeah. yeah. I can understand that. Like, at least wait until after class if you're going to send her to the office. Yeah. Like, because, like, learning comes first. That's what the school's for. Um, do you think that boys are more favored when it comes to dress code than girls? Yes. Because I don't know any boys that have gotten dress code. No. Mm. You ask any guy, and it's like, no, I'm a guy. So, like, what would they wear to get yeah, dress coded? True. I don't really see guys like, like if they, dress if they, though. what, well, what if they had like no shirt to school? Do you think that they could dress code? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they had like a really tight like tank top, do you think that they could dress coded? I feel like they wouldn't. I feel like, like they I just either. have a feeling like if they wore like you know like the white tank tops mm. that some guys wear, I feel like it just it would pass by. But like yeah. if we wore that. Then we would never get it, away with it. Mm -hmm. It'd probably be more of an issue. And they're like, sometimes they wear um, ripped jeans, like real skinny jeans, and like way on the thigh, and I'm like, hold on. Hang on. That would not slide with us. I know. <laughs> um, also, do you think our school only dress goes like certain groups of people? Or do you think that's just like based off of luck? I don't know. I feel like taller people get dress coded more. Yeah, because yes. longer legs make things yeah. look shorter. Well, yes, I will yeah. say, like, depending on your body type, like, things, things look different on different people, and it just draws more attention, I think, even yeah. if, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like, if two mm -hmm. people like, the same thing. If, like, say, like, you're a bigger person, and, like, you wear the same thing as, like, a sort of smaller person, like, you're gonna show more skin than the smaller person. It's more, person. like, distracting, so, yeah. yeah, I think they're more likely to get dress coded. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for your time, and that was the My Kayla Seminar. As many of you know, dress code is a hot topic in many schools, and as someone who's come from a different school, there will always be many contrasting opinions on dress code. While we are constantly changing and adapting, so do our standards and the way we view ourselves and how we dress. It wasn't too long ago where it was scandalous to show your ankles, or when putting makeup on in public was improper, or when showing your sleeves without a coat was considered disrespectful. Not to mention the days where women weren't even allowed to think about wearing pants, and when they were pra practically raised on corsets. Now, we consider those restrictions to be ridiculous, but back then they were a very important part to proper social etiquette. As times change, so do people and so do our standards. Within our own lives and our school, we are begged to consider these questions. Is our dress code fair? Or is it that our standards have changed our perception of fair? Thank you for attending our My Kayla talk, and without further ado, here is Michaela and Kayla signing off. <laughs> This is our first boy, I just realized that. Okay. Sexist. <laughs> oh my god, why are you vibrating? You think that you expect me to wear a short skirt? No, Should that's not what I'm to do. Your talk. <laughs> because... Close <Yes>. up. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now I'm not sure interested in being in front of the camera. Okay. Skirts. Or skirts. Oh my god, stop talking. <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll <have> <laughs> 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 my name's Michael. 
Yeah. Everyone calls What's me your Mitchell. Last? <laughs> What's your last? your full name? What's your full name? My name is Michael Willingham. Okay. You did really good. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> so, what are shoulders? Are like <laughs> so distracting. Really? Probably give the guys more dress codes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you think it's fair? Our dress codes? I just look at it. <laughs> like especially the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Any closing remarks? Your mom. I was called. Because girls can wear dog collars, I should be able to wear a hat. <laughs>